Good morning. I am right now in Santa Barbara. I made it yesterday, as I told you. And actually, I was, as I told you, I was a bit sad about being in LA, and I tried to find people, and it was a weird hostel. And then I drove up here to see, like the area and to see if there were any people and I had such a good night yesterday I didn't really record anything because I had fun but there were so many awesome people two sweets first of all <laughs> there we go <laughs> two sweets they're really beautiful and then some American no they're not Americans Australians we were hanging out with those as well and they were really sweet as well and then a lot of Irish <laughs> And two British? Oh yeah, but they were not together. They were solo travelers like me, right? Yeah, but we had a lot of fun. I guess you can see yourself in my sunnies. I'm sorry about that, but it's it's really bright, you know. I'm really sensitive with light. And then yeah, we were just out having a lot of fun. We got a bit tipsy, maybe a yep. bit more than tipsy. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Had like a lot of pizza. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we? Yeah. But it was a good oh, well. night and it's fun how I could feel so uncomfortable for like 24 hours ago and be so sad because no people was around and you know I, I always tell people that say like wow I can't believe you travel alone you must like feel lonely and stuff but I never do like never but it's because I choose like today I want to be alone and you know that's something I choose but I feel felt like the loneliness ch chose me for the first time like 24 hours ago and I just can't imagine that you know I just went here and then it all changed it like that so it's just to push yourself to do stuff and then it will all work out in the end <laughs> but you must know that because you have lived abroad for a year yeah so you know you know the drill yeah. about um, getting to know people and being all by yourself yeah, it's in a and it doesn't matter what you do or who you talk to, it's just to push yourself and push your own limits and yeah. you'll meet people. Yeah, but right now we're just staying at the beach. This is, I guess it's the main beach, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and it's the beautiful. Over there. Oh yeah, the pier is in the back. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we, our hostel is pretty close and it's a really nice one. People are nice. We had pancakes this morning. That's an upgrade. Usually you have bagels with cheese. That's what they offer yeah. anywhere else. It was delicious. And yeah. coffee. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Free coffee. Awesome. And chocolate chips. Yeah. Yeah, but this is the beach I'll just show you. It's really cute. We saw the sunset yesterday. I don't know if I did a video, but otherwise I'll put some pictures in here. It's really cute. And then over here, but you probably saw it on my my little recordings. A bit drawn. Good morning, it's bright and early. I think it's 9.30 and I already made it to my first destination. I've been driving for an hour or something and it was such a beautiful ride. So I drove from Santa Barbara, uh, which is north of Los Angeles, you might know. Uh, I'm, I'm heading north to San Francisco slowly. Today I'm going to Monterey and I just drove from Santa Barbara to Solvang and Solvang is a Danish town in America and of course I need to visit that one because I am Danish and it's all really cute I remember it because I've been here before with my parents as a kid so last night I planned the rest of my trip um, like I try to put dates on everything like when I'm going and stuff so I'll drive now from Santa Barbara to Monterey today it's a six hour drive with no stops it's far um, so we'll see how that goes. And in Monterey, I'll meet some Aussie blokes that I met in Santa Barbara. We'll stay in a motor there. That'll be fun. They're really sweet and really awesome. We have a lot of fun. Just that one day I got to know them, I guess. Yeah. And then we will drive to San Francisco in two different cars. They got their car and I got mine. And then we'll stay in a hostel in San Francisco. And I think we'll ride... And we'll rent some bikes and get around there but we'll see i try not to plan too much ahead because i meet different people and they change my plans as well so but right now i'm in Solvang and i'm really excited i need to get out there and have a little walk how cute is this town 
makes me happy. It's just so strange that there are more Chinese visitors than Danish. But, well, <laughs> I will head back to the car and then I'll hit the road as fast as I can and go to see Mara Bay. I'll drive inland a little bit and then get out on the highway one again. So it'll be good. I'm actually really enjoying myself today um, and this was what I really wished for when I was planning this trip. Of course to be with people and meet other travelers and locals and stuff but I just needed as well to get away from myself to get my all my thoughts together and get ready for my next semester and it works well. I had the most amazing playlist that I made yesterday and I'm singing along and I'm having a good time. So, so far this road trip is not too bad at all. Alright, so this is my Bible when I travel. Um, I just get it for like everywhere I go and then I'm always opening the book to see like the next place I go. So now I'm heading to Morrow Bay and I'll just read shortly about it. So this is an old fish village so that will be exciting. It should really be really beautiful with like volcanic peaks in the water. So dramatic and beautiful and yeah that's how I get ready and then I'm going to Big Sur later but I'll read that like later today. <laughs> Let's hit the road. Jack. Alright, I just left the car and packed a bag and got more clothes on because it's cold here. It's like 19 degrees. Um, and I'm in Morro Bay now. I'll just have lunch. Lunch in my bag. And I'll have that down at the beach somewhere. And then they have a really cute street over here. Um, so I'll walk that after. I'm looking at all the stores before I'm heading north. Um, I remember my parents talked about this little place a lot. Um, so yeah, we'll see what it has to offer. I have seen it as a kid, but I don't really remember. I remember when I was here with my parents, there was a beaver in the water eating a fish. I was really fascinated by that at that time. So pretty here. But it's still a bit noisy from the orchestra up in the back on the street. So pretty though. I love when they're so authentic. authentic. I think that's the word I'm searching for. Because, yeah, it's just stunning. And it's so old and cool. Look. Love that. Alright, I'm just doing a quick stop to see sea elephant seals. It might be. I need to head north as fast as possible, so it's just so it's just a short stop. I'm sorry I didn't get to finish the vlog yesterday, but my uh, camera ran out of battery. But it was a beautiful ride along the coast. And after like 10 hours of drive, I met up with the Aussies and we went out for dinner. I fancied a vegetarian burger and I got that, so that was great. Uh, really what I needed. And we had garlic fries, apparently that's really... Um, a local thing here. We were just chatting, walking around in um, Monterey, uh, which was cool. We were watching sea lions. They were under the jetty. It was so cool. So um, they were barking down there and they were playing and fighting. And yeah, it was just really entertaining to watch. 